All right, let's do a quick little lab to look at what the TSS looks like on our VMs. So first you're going to use the msgdt command like you used in the previous section about segmentation. And from there you will find a TSS, 64-bit TSS. Doesn't matter which one you pick if you have a multiprocessor VM. Then you're going to use the dt display type command and you're going to recursively display all the types and you're going to cast that address that you got from the GDT into a Microsoft kernel data structure, the kernel TSS64, and that will show you the various contents that look like this. So this, the data structure from Microsoft is going to be telling us about this. So let's go ahead and see that after all my animations. All right. So, Go ahead and break in in the kernel, run the msgdt command, find an address from a 64-bit task state segment. You can see that it happens to be using the type of busy here, not available. And then we are going to copy this command, which you should get from the website, and cast the information to that. All right. And there you go. So it's basically saying, you know, reserved is zero. RSP zero is currently set to some actual real value. I'm gonna pause my VM here again because I don't like my fan spinning up. So RSP zero is actually filled in. RSP one and two are not actually filled in. So that just shows you that, you know, Microsoft is not expecting to use ring one or ring two. The IST, the interrupt stack table is, has particular uh, individual values for entries one, two, three, and four. Uh, zero is actually reserved, so we can't use that. And then the other values are not actually used. So there's at least four interrupts that we would expect later on, which are going to have some specific stack that they want to use that is not equal to the normal just going into ring zero stack. Okay, so what did we learn in this section? Well, first of all, we learned about the task register, which is also shown here. It's just a segment selector, a 16-bit value, which selects from the GDT a TSS descriptor, which we saw looks the exact same as the LDT descriptor, and that specifies a base and limit for the task state segment, which we just saw holds some locations where the stack should be uh, used uh, when you have an interrupt. Also, we saw in the TSS there's a thing called the interrupt stack table, the IST, and so within there that can also be used for some specific interrupts, which we'll learn about in the next section.